Well, it was 15 minutes before the new year when one woman got the call. Her sister was killed in a drunk driving hit and run crash in Collier County. Now, as FHP investigates, the family is working to bring her body back home to Minnesota and bring awareness to the harsh reality of drunk driving. I actually spoke with her sister tonight. My, my sister was killed crossing the street by a drunk driver on New Year's Eve. And it feels like such a cliche. It just doesn't seem real for Trisha Pernu. Now starting this new year, adjusting to a new normal without her sister. 35-year-old Mandy Pernu killed, Trisha says, by a drunk driver on New Year's Eve. I found out about 15 minutes before midnight. FHP reporting a hit and run crash on New Year's Eve in Collier County on US 41. Releasing this picture of the Kia they say hit a bicyclist and took off. Trisha says her sister, living at a hotel at the time, was riding her bike to Sonic when she was hit and killed. It's hard to imagine that I don't get to spend the rest of my life with my big sister. Even harder now working to figure out how to bring Mandy's body back home to her 18-year-old son and for a funeral in Minnesota. The family starting this GoFundMe page to do so. So the point of the GoFundMe is to kind of bring her home. Um, no family expects to have to deal with this. This isn't something that you save up for. State data showing an increase not only in crashes in Southwest Florida from 2021, but also an increase in traffic deaths with 242 people killed in Southwest Florida last year alone. 17 while riding their bikes and 16 killed in a hit and run. The sister using this moment as a reminder to also not drink and drive. Realize that it could be you. It could be your loved one. Pay attention to what you're doing. Put your phone down. Don't get behind the wheel. Pay for an Uber. Make the phone calls. Do what you have to do. So FHP says the driver of that hit and run crash in Collier County on New Year's Eve was under the influence. Claudio Andres Nunez Hormanzabel arrested on several charges, including DUI manslaughter, leaving the scene with death and not having a driver's license. Now, court records show right now he's only officially been charged with reckless driving, but FHP says they are still investigating and those additional charges are coming.